This is Christian Ackerman with Fast Coast Productions and the Fast Coast Film Academy. We're back here in HQ, Fast Coast Productions in Hamilton, Montana in the RCEDA building. And we're doing a little double duty. I'm helping uh, one of my coworkers over there um, have a little VHS station set up. Normally it's in here, but I'm turning it this into my little network of uh, space of my NAS. and. Uh, but anyways, I got VHS stuff, old school VHS being transferred to digitally over here. And on the other half of the workstation, I have Lucas Lapara coming to show us some more latest cuts and edits with the rough cut of Pirate's Cove. Pirate's Cove. Pirate's Cove. Pirate's Cove. Pirate's Cove. Pirate, matey. Pirate's Cove. So, so tell me, Pirate's Cove. Okay, Pirate's Cove. So, so far I've been, uh, I've just done a, quite a bit of updates since we last did the last vlog since uh, Pirate's Cove, and I've been uh, finding um, more shots. You said. Oh yeah, there's definitely uh, more shots. You know, more edits, special effects, stuff that normally, you know, you wouldn't look into like. A, that's just a normal uh, symbol edit, right? Right, right, exactly. But at this point, I had so much free time at this point, and for me, I just thought, okay, where am I gonna progress into this? Uh, right. Um, so that's. So now we're gonna just take a look, and I'll, I'll we won't show everybody. Well, no, you're, you're gonna show me stuff, but yeah. I'll show a little bit as we go along. Okay, let's take a look at this thing. Let's do it. I remember the remember the thing we were talking about the edit for the pirates. So this is just just to take a look at what we could do. Yeah. The possibilities. This is not a yeah. the end cut or the end goal yet. Right. So we are just seeing where it goes right at this point. You have all this. Right. That was really cool. I like it. Oh yeah, I remember. I even rearranged some story elements. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's a cut. So. Or hungry. This is Lucas Lapara. He's been editing crazy. If you're out there right now, give him a round of applause because he's working his butt off. And two, we were just discussing that he's doing all these edits and making these decisions and doing cool things and doing these amazing effects. And then I'll be like, I want to see it this way. I want to see it that way. And it doesn't normally when we're like doing editing and I'm directing or directing the edit. It's normally all I have is a bunch of opinions. They're my personal opinions and this is how I want it seen. This is what I want it to look like, but I'll look at him and see what his opinions are and we have to come up with I have to like take some of those ideas and be like yeah you're right because I could be wrong I could be that op my opinion might not work as well or if I'm fixated on this it might not be the best idea so I should have like listened to his idea because it could be better it could be absolutely 100% better than what I have mine could be 100% poo poo um, but then sometimes at the end of the day, it's just opinion. I just like want it to look a certain way. And that's as a director be doing the final cut, you want something looking a certain way. So we've been doing that tonight and working on this pretty good. And you've done an awesome job, Lucas. Mm -hmm. And I've been showing him all these cool like muzzle effects that he can totally do that I just showed. I just showed him there's like a whole, it's like, a, I was like, oh, there's a, there's a whole file of all these like, special effects. He's like, oh, <laughs> and so now he's gonna take those and play around with those and, um, and work on some playing around with like some so, of the, the aesthetics of them and like stuff like this, that. Like I'm especially gonna more so work on the visual aesthetics and the special effects. We'll see, we'll play around and then uh, maybe I'll do some, maybe a little bit of basic audio, just, just so you get into it just and get to, excited to about get excited it. To, yeah. Like also to add, you know, fill in little pieces here and there. Yeah. That's the kind of And some of these shots have been amazing. Like there's this one shot I gotta show you guys that's my favorite shot that he did. Um and it's Brad Hathaway here. And it's freaking amazing. And Lucas did all this. So Lucas, what are some of the elements that you do here? Um with a shot, because it's amazing. I don't know how well yeah, it's picking up pretty darn well. It I'll have to send a still image to Brad 
because I was really working with a lot of the color grading and then yeah. the, some of the filters and sometimes I'll bring it up and sometimes I'll bring some of them down just to kind of see the little static and then see if it's too dark like because again I do like how you see enough right here but it's not that it shows everything That's, right yeah it's my favorite pretty um, shot because you see his eyes and you see all these these outlines and the details of his costume which was really cool very cool shot just i like this shot here and then i was showing him some cool like techniques with because we're editing this project in final cut pro i mean i we work me and him work in uh, adobe premiere final cut pro uh davinci resolve um hit film express we use everything because we're editors we we have to use it all and this one we started with the fescos film academy we used final cut pro and so I was showing him some of the detail work that you can do in the system with color correction. Like this is just the tip of the iceberg, but there's a whole like setup that you can do and do this whole color correcting thing. And right now, normally you're supposed to like in the business, in the industry standard, you cut the film together, you get the story done. And then after that, then you do the next layer and you do the next layer. But um, nowadays while you're working digitally you can do things as you go to kind of excite you so you're not like in this oh i can't wait to see what this looks like you can do it instantaneously at the speed of thought now and like i was showing them some stuff like let's make this a little darker like we were working on uh this uh, shot these shots with uh um joe here um acting in this scene and we we're trying to make it look a little more interesting um, especially like right here when he's like just before he's coming up to the pirates and stuff uh, doing color corrections kind of like another adverb adjective to what's going on in the story so um, Lucas I, is he's been working doing those shots that you've seen he can do these amazing color correction stuff and then I was just showing him some other things you can like I've given him more tools like just a little more tricks a yeah little more stuff I, was, I was just going like here's here's some more tools and you're like oh it's kind of like you've been working with a hammer and this and i'm like wait i got these like i got this like um uh, whatever this uh, this torch cutting tool that you can use that will like totally help you and he's like what and then i'm like oh yeah and i have all this like supplies right here i just showed him tonight so he's gonna go back and play around and you've been watching indiana jones movies yeah like i'm almost because it's kind of like similar what i almost like watched all of them the one that i'm still trying to currently watch and again, I've watched it before, The Last Crusade, love it, really fantastic movie. Right, right. But I've been watching Raiders of the Lost Ark, um, Temple of Doom. Um, have you lost, watched The uh, Lost Crusade, Last Crusade yet? I have watched the movie many, many times before, but again, I still if want you, to come back to watch it. <laughs> yeah, you should watch The La Last Crusade, the ending scene, and you'll see, like, that's what I'm stealing from when they're when the jake's down and he, he's, he's like, dying he's like oh yeah it's kind of like i'm yeah. just pulling from that even though it's like goonies more like and we're doing a comedy and a fun family adventure we're still we got the we got to do the indiana jones like kudos in this movie so yeah luke has been working on that a lot we're going to be continuing working on this uh he's been working so you gotta give him a round of applause out there give him a shout out he's going to also start videoing some of um the stuff that he's doing at home in his home office working on the movie um and then we'll be like sharing both uh times and we'll be putting stuff together and so you guys can see updates on what's going on so that'll be happening too soon and he'll be putting these on his channel and so you guys can see what's going on you can follow his channel what's your channel on youtube so my channel channel is a uh, macro dash omni and that's where you go so you go to youtube.com slash macro-ami and then you can see all his stuff go ahead and subscribe to his channel um you if you're here it's fast coast productions um thank you for being here or you're watching our instagram is your instagram just the same thing my my instagram is just lucas lapara lucas lapara so you can find lucas there on instagram you'll start to see some other posts and other projects that he's working on he's starting to do some um also some experimental uh effects and stuff with his partner um with his studio and stuff like that so that's going to be, be kind of fun so again my name is christian ackerman this is lucas lapara with fast coast productions and the fast coast film academy we hope to see you in the movies pirates go pirates go
birth of something new.